Good morning! Well, today I thought we could take a look at some of the furniture that we have here in the warehouse. We're gonna look at um, some DIY pieces uh, in depth, but uh, maybe gloss over a few uh, uh, really cool other ones as well. Um, so yeah, let's get going, starting with this one. Um, this buffet is so beautiful. Buffet sideboard, I always um, use them interchangeably and I uh, can never remember if they are different. <laughs> but um, yes, 1850s Empire sideboard, it has a key. Um, I mentioned that because I think that is one of the coolest things in old furniture, uh, the locking mechanism. But um, yeah, the, the overall, the, the design is super cool with these two raised portions on either side. Um, I really love the hardware as well. Look at the little uh, detail around the edge of this kitchen for the keyhole. And look at the poles. Aren't these beautiful? Look at this. I really like this little point here. So cool. Um, and you can see the drawers have a little bit of a, um, design detail on the front with these kind of uh, grooved drawer fronts. But I'm at a loss words. <laughs> uh, and then echoing that design, look at this, the leg on the front. Isn't that awesome? Looks, it reminds me of a treble clef a little bit, treble clef in music, right? And that little uh, cashew <laughs> shaped foot at the bottom. Yeah, just a really beautiful piece. Uh, it is, um, does need some work as you can see. Uh, the finish is uh, a little worn. I actually really like that. Um, I don't know if I would change it, but um, one of the main things is, is it is missing back feet. We have some uh, um, pieces of lumber in there substituting, but uh, yeah, adding that in, you can have a really great, uh, really great sideboard. Uh, it's here at the warehouse. It is three hundred and eighty-five dollars. And uh, man, even if you're not in the uh, market for a sideboard, this one is really cool to come and and check out. I just think that uh, detail is really cool. That curve with a little hole in the back. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, so come check that one out. Right across from it, um, this sofa is so cool. It's really low sofa with a really tall back, uh, but the frame is really great. Look at this. A little carved detail in the middle. 325 bucks. I love um, I love old sofas that have this little bit of a uh, upholstered section on the arm. Yeah, really cool. And then I really wanted to show you. There's so many cool pieces of furniture. Um, it's gonna be everything I I uh, have to not stop and talk about every one of them. <laughs> um, over here. Um, this one just came in today. This really great uh, vintage 1970s console stereo. Um, it uh, doesn't work. The wires have been cut, so don't plug it in. Um, but it has so many cool reuse ideas. Uh, so you open up the top. This is the uh, where uh, all the mechanics are. It actually has the original um, uh, paperwork as well. Look at this. Ta -da! That's so cool. Um, and then inside here, I mean, Andrew was saying, you know, he, he, he wonders if you could uh, add Bluetooth and because uh, the speakers are still here on the sides. Um, so that'd be really uh, fun to try for someone who is enterprising and knows what they're doing. But I did, I've never seen one of these, um, a record saver. It's got these little brushes inside, I guess for 45s. Super neat. And then look, I mean, if you're planning on taking all that, I mean, these make really good bars, among other things. Uh, but look at this, it's got this really cool kind of curved uh, back to this section. And then I think my favorite part is down here. I love the record holders and some storage next to it. So yeah, all sorts of stuff you could do with it. Um, really neat cabinet. Yeah, as ready for your creativity. <laughs> and that is $125. Come check it out here at the warehouse. And I also wanted to show you over here Check. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think that's my uh, childhood dresser. <laughs> Boy, that's a blast from the past. Not dresser, desk. Mine had a, um, a shelf on the top, but uh, oh, that's so funny. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you this one. Um, this is so beautiful, $30. It's got so many cool little details to it. Um, it's got two drawers. Ta-da, and I love the, uh, the curved front to it some great hardware uh, but I think the coolest thing about it is this uh, detail that's in uh, underneath the top and then repeated below at the bottom as well it's got these really great little brackets underneath it just some neat uh, kind of like finery <laughs> as I think of it and then you add these uh, kind of like fluted um, legs 
in the sides here too. Yeah, just a lot of really great stuff going on here. Um, I really like, as I believe I mentioned, uh, an aged finish. Um, so I love the top like this, but you can refinish it, restain it, or, or paint it. Um, it would really make all the details come out, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, 30 bucks, a really fun project, I would say as well. Um, so yeah, that is just some of the furniture we've got here. As you can see, there is so much more to come and check out. So uh, yeah, we're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. You can come around and uh, see what strikes your fancy. Um, there's a couple stickers you might see while you're walking around. One is a sold sticker, looks like this. Um, and that is because um, we have five days of free storage. So if you come here and you fall in love with this hutch, but you uh, um, drive a smart car, you can uh, purchase it, you can fill out a storage form, and then uh, yeah, then you can figure out a way to get it home. So whether you find friends or, or rent a, a vehicle. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. Uh, you can come and shop even if you don't have a way to get anything home. Um, also, another tag you might see, it says not for sale. And that is because um, our nonprofit provides free materials to households with limited resources and also to other nonprofits. So uh, if it has a not for sale tag on it, chances are it is going to one of those entities. So, uh, so yeah, um, you can pick a different something. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of great stuff here. Um, and like I said, we're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. We have some materials, a selection of our items listed on our marketplace, and that is communityforkliftmarketplace.org. Um, so uh, yeah, check that out as well. But all right, well, hey, if you have any questions about our nonprofit, how you can uh, donate materials or purchase materials, uh, please put them in the comments. I love the front on this one. Look at this little lamp design. Isn't that beautiful? Um, yeah, if you have any questions about our nonprofit, please, I'm going to put this video up and uh, put the put your questions in the comments and uh, and I'll get back to you. But otherwise, have a great day.